Please press bell icon to subscribe to my channel Seema Gautam for more videos. Hello, I'm back with the geography chapter on agriculture in India. This time we will talk about the cash crops which are referred to a country's backbone. The cash crops provide raw material to agro-based industries. They provide money to farmers not only to improve their living condition but also to improve their farming practices. The main cash crops are categorized as beverages under this tea and coffee. Cotton and jute comes under the fiber crops, oil seeds that is groundnuts, mustard seed, etc. Other crops are sugarcane, tobacco, rubbers are there. In this module, we are going to learn about oil seeds. India is the largest producer of oil seed in the world. About 20% of the oil seed producing area in India. Different oil seeds are grown covering approximately 14% of the total cropped area of the country. These oil seeds are used for various purposes. They are used as industrial raw material in the manufacturers of paints, varnishes, hydrogenated oil, soaps and lubricants etc. Main oil seed produced in India include groundnut, mustard, coconut, sesame which is called even till, soya bean, castor seeds, linseeds and sunflower. Most of these are edible and used as cooking mediums. Some of these are also as, used as a raw material in the production of soaps, ointments and cosmetics. Groundnut is also known as peanut or monkey nut. It is believed that groundnut was introduced in India from Brazil during the 16th century. Groundnut contains about 42% of oil which is extracted from nuts found in the roots of plants. It is mainly used for the manufacturing hydrogenated oils. It is also used for making medical emulsions, soaps, etc. While the oil of groundnut is used for cooking, its oil cake is used for the cattle feed. The nuts are also eaten raw, roasted, salted and sweetened. Now we will discuss the climatic condition of groundnut. So groundnut thrives well in the tropical and subtropical climate. Temperature, if we discuss, it requires a 20 degree Celsius to 25 degree Celsius. Dry weather is needed during the time of ripening. Rainfall, groundnut requires light to moderate rainfall between 50 to 100 centimeter. Rainfall should be well distributed. Prolonged drought, uh, continuous rains, uh, stagnate water and frost harm the crops adversely. Soil, sandy loam or loams well drained. Black soils which allow enough of uh, aerations are considered suitable for groundnut cultivation. The red, yellow and black cotton soil of Peninsula India suit it as well. Such light soils are essential as the nut ripens in soil. Now we will discuss methods of cultivation. After plowing seeds are showed by broadcasting and drilling method, it is a flowering plant and crop takes four to five months for harvesting. During harvesting, the entire plant is removed from the soil. Groundnuts are packed in sack after drying. They are sent to mills or commercial establishments, etc. India is the second largest producer of groundnut in the world. It is widely grown in Peninsular India, Telangana and Tamil Nadu being the largest producer in the country. In India, Gujarat is a leading producer of groundnuts followed by Maharashtra, Karnataka, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Punjab. Now we will discuss about mustard and rap seeds. Mustard seeds also known as rap oil seeds wrap mustard seeds is the third leading source of vegetable oil in the world 
This oil contained varies from 33% to 46% and averages oil recovery is around 32 to 38%. After oil extraction, the remaining part of the sea is used for the different purposes and it is an important source of the cattle and poultry feed. The planting seasons of sowing uh, period in India is during the Ravi season, that is month October to November. Now we will discuss climatic condition of mustard seeds. So first we'll discuss about temperature. It requires 10 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius temperature and thrives in cool climate. Rainfall is 25 centimeter to 40 centimeter moderate rainfall considered the best. It needs a right proportion of rainfall during sowing season of the crop. Next come to the soil. Loamy soil is considered suitable, but slightly heavier soils are preferred. We'll just discuss now methods of cultivation of mustard seeds. The crop is grown in the winter season. It is grown with wheat, gram and barley in rows. This grown, uh, it is shown by uh, broadcasting or drilling method. Harvesting is to be carried out as soon as the pods begin, uh, begins to turn yellow and the seeds becomes hard. Sickles are used to cut the mustard plants. The plants are tied and kept for five to six days to dry. Threshing is uh, carried out with this uh, stick and winnowing is done to separate the grains from the husk. Now we'll discuss the distribution of the seed. It is extensively found in the Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, West Bengal, Assam, Bihar, Orissa, Gujarat and Jammu and Kashmir. Here we'll go ahead and learn about the season seeds. India is the largest season producing country in the world and this oil is used for edible purposes. It is also used to anoint the body and for the manufacturing of perfumes and medicines. The seeds are eaten in fried form with sugar or jaggery. It oil cake is used as fodder for animal and as manure as well. Climatic condition for this. Temperature 21 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius temperature require. It grows profusely under warm and sunny weather and cannot withstand in frost. Rainfall, moderate rainfall require between 40 centimeter and 50 centimeter. Excessive rainfall ruins the crop. When we'll discuss about the soil, well-drained light loamy soil is preferred for this particular crop. Next, we'll go ahead and discuss about the methods of cultivation. So it is grown as Kharif crop in the northern states and as a Ravi crop in the southern states. When we are discussing about the distribution, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Orissa, Gujarat, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh in Tamil Nadu are major places. Now we'll go ahead and discuss about the linseed. Linseed is quick drying oil and is non-edible for making waterproof fabrics, printing links and paint we are using. Its oil cake is used as a fertilizer as well. Now we'll discuss the climatic condition of this. It requires temperature of 15 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Temperature requires low temperature and humidity as well. Rainfall that is 45 centimeter to 75 centimeter is considered that moderate rainfall is the best for it. Excessive rainfall ruins this crop. Soil, alluvium soil, clay loamy soil and deep black soil is preferred for this particular seed. Methods of cultivation. Linseed is grown during the Rabi season and it is shown in October to November month and harvesting months are March to April. Harvesting, as I said just now, March to April. Distribution, Madhya Pradesh and UP are leading producer, whereas Maharashtra, Rajasthan and West Bengal are other producer of linseed. We'll go ahead and discuss about the sunflower. 
Sunflower is rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids and this oil is useful for human consumption. This recommended for heart patients as well and it's a very hardy crop and can grow in varying regions. This oil, uh, oil cake of this is used as fodder. Now we'll discuss the climatic condition of sunflower. It is uh, it requires a temperature of 26 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius temperature and it grows profusely under warm in sunny weather. Next we'll discuss about the rainfall. Annual rainfall less than 50 cm consider the best. Rainfall should not be heavy during its flowering stage. Soil well drained soil for better yield is considered the best. Now we'll discuss about the methods. So for proper germination, it requires enough moisture in the soil during the first 45 days and it should not rain heavily when the crop is flowering. Yield increases considerably if the crop is irrigated just before flowering. Now we'll discuss about the distribution of the sunflower. So uh, sunflower is grown in Bihar, Maharashtra, Karnataka and a large scale. Now we'll discuss about our last uh, crop uh, that is soya bean. It is a fast becoming a leading crop in the grain and oil seed industry as the production is rising annually match with the rise in global demand. It has high protein content. The beans are eaten as vegetable or made into soya sauces etc. Now it is uh, very much we are using in our foods and all. It is used as a substitute for animal protein as well as consumed as soya milk and tofu etc. Climatic condition we discuss here temperature. It requires a temperature of 13 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius and uh, temperature above 13 degrees Celsius is necessary for the normal growth of soya bean. Rainfall requires light to moderate rainfall like 40 to 60 centimeter and rainfall should be well distributed as well. Soil variable loamy acidic soil prefer for this or consider the best for this, cult uh, this uh, seed. Now we'll discuss the methods of cultivation. So we have been shown in 40 to centimeter apart through drilling method. Irrigation is not required and grown rain fed. At the time of sowing one deep plying and two harrowing should be given to maintain optimum moisture. Harvesting is carried out in mid-October as usual by threshing machine and all. So as I said, it's done in the middle of the October and red fed it is a rain fed crop which harvested in the middle of the October. Now the distribution of the soya bean. So soya bean is produced in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Maharashtra. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos.